Despite numerous efforts by the government and stakeholders to tame corruption, the country has witnessed several scandals both at the national and county levels. A state of affairs that has ignited a debate on the efficacy of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission in its efforts to slay the ghost of corruption. Indeed, the National Council of Churches of Kenya has called for its disbandment, proposing the formation of a directorate under the office of the president to deal with the investigation and prosecution of corruption cases. A proposal that ESCC Deputy CEO Michael Mubea says is uncalled for. People must not look at us as the only people fighting corruption. One of our functions is to enlist the support of the people in the fight against corruption. So we want the Kenyans themselves to also join us in the fight against corruption. Speaking during a training for staff of Kenya Broadcasting Corporation organized by the Nyumbakumi Initiative, Mubea said the anti-graft body has made tremendous steps in stemming graft in the country. We have uh, quick interventions like uh, undertaking what we call corruption risk assessments in various counties. We released uh, uh, the, the one, more particularly in Kisi, which highlighted quite a number of things. I think what the media picked was the flask that is being for, bought for 8,000 Kenya shillings. ASCC is an independent commission established under Chapter 15 of the Constitution and with the ASCC Act of 2011 as the enabling legislation in its functions. Irene Mchuma Odim, Channel 1 News Hour.